the Large Hadron Collider. I claimed a while ago that that machine had been built to disrupt a hole in the Van Allen belt in order to allow the fallen angels, the Anunnaki, from the planet Nibiru to enter through the Van Allen belt and invade the Earth again. Now, to make such a claim, obviously people um, ridiculed me an awful lot. Uh, this is not going to be another Humble Pie video though, um, but I was right again. And I'm going to show you proof that I was right, and I hope now that people will start taking this far more seriously, because we are all in a great deal of danger, and Jesus Christ has been telling us that for 2,000 years. And John F. Kennedy, just before he got his brains blown out, said there was a worldwide monolithic conspiracy involving everything. And this is all run by the tares. Read the parable of the wheat and the tares. They're half human, half angel, uh, filth who live on this earth, counterfeit human beings. And the Freemasons, the traitors to mankind. Now, back to the point. I claimed that the Large Hadron Collider has been built to make a hole in the Van Allen belt, which is an electromagnetic belt surrounding the Earth. And the Large Hadron Collider is an electromagnetic device, which I've previously described um, as a gigantic gun. Um, it's 17.5 miles um, around its radius, um, and that I would like you to think of as a gun barrel. Now, on Yahoo News, for instance, um, this is what it says. Scientists find a hole in Earth's magnetic field. Los Angeles, uh, recent satellite observations have revealed the largest breach yet seen in the magnetic field that protects Earth from most of the sun's violent blasts. And it says that NASA um, sent up uh, a group of satellites uh, named Themis in order to investigate this phenomenon. I've put up another link um, to the Wikipedia. Themis um, is, it says here, Themis, among the six sons and six daughters of Gaia and Uranus, that is of Earth and Sky. And then it goes on to tell us, among these titans, it says, of primordial myth. So, the satellite that's been, uh, these satellites, these five satellites that have been sent up called Themis, um, actually refer um, to six sons and six daughters. And remember that the CERN logo is covered in sixes and that these are titans, giants, in other words, um, from so-called Greek mythology, which is actually um, factual ancient history. Because this earth has been invaded, as it says in Genesis 6, and elaborated on in the Book of Enoch. So let's carry on with what um, uh, this article says. It says that um, uh, last summer, I'm making this video, by the way, on the 18th of December 2008, so it's talking about summer 2008 here. Um, Themis calculated a layer of solar particles um, to be at least 4,000 miles thick in the out outermost part of the Earth's magnetosphere, the largest tear of the protective shield found so far. It's strange, isn't it, that the um, LHC was also fired at around the same time. Um, I don't believe a single thing they say about the date, so for me that's absolutely irrelevant. It coincides with that time. Um, it then goes on to say that scientists, um, they're admitting an alleged mistake here, believed the greatest solar breach occurred when the Earth's and Sun's magnetic fields are pointed in opposite directions, but data from Themis, uh, the satellites named after Nephilim giants, uh, found the opposite to be true. Twenty times more solar wind passed into the Earth's protective shield when the magnetic fields were aligned. Now, um, they're admitting that they got uh, their scientific hypothesis completely and utterly wrong. In fact, the opposite was true. So, for those who say, oh no, science is always right, well, you know, come on, uh, start waking up a little bit here. It goes on to say um, that the Themis satellites were launched to find the source of brief, powerful geomagnetic disturbances in the Earth's atmosphere. These were made by the LHC. They, they couldn't have been made by anything else. I mean, the timing uh, is far too suspicious. Um, I've got another link here, which says uh, a huge hole found on Earth's magnetic field. Run around in panic now. 
Sounds like good advice. Um, it says here that um, a flotilla of, uh, of satellites were sent. Again, it's referring to, to the Themis. And it says, um, but don't fret, dear readers, because according to uh, Marit um, Oyeraset, if I've pronounced that correctly, professor of the University of uh, California at Berkeley said, um, even while it was growing rather fast, the hole only lasted for an hour. Hmm. I wonder about the LHC. It says, during that time, the amount of solar wind getting into the Earth's surface was 20 times higher than usual. And then it finishes off. Um, the news here is that while scientists thought the solar breach happened when the Earth's and Sun's magnetic fields were in opposite directions, the data gathered from Themis found exactly the opposite. In other words, these people don't have a clue. Run to the shelters now. But so let's just uh, go back a bit here. It says that, um, that this hole lasted uh, for an hour and that the radiation entering the earth was 20 times higher than normal. The Bible tells us there'll come a time when people will be covered in sores and boils. If you make holes in the um, Van Allen belt, which protects us um, from all the uh, lethal um, radiation from outer space, then yes, you will be covered in sores and boils. Now, when the time comes that they fire this thing one more time, now that they've tested it and know that it works, and yes, it makes a hole in the Van Allen belt, the um, cryptic stargate, the cryptic black hole that they were speaking of, that they said would only last for a little while. Well, there's a hole, and it only lasted for a little while, lasted for an hour. So this is a successful test of the Large Hadron Collider um, for what I believe it truly is, um, a stargate, a black hole maker, using electromagnetic uh, force. The Van Allen belt is an electromagnetic shield. In order to disrupt an electromagnetic shield, you need to use exactly the same thing, and that is electromagnetism directed at it. But it has to be very, very powerful, because the Van Allen belt is also very, very powerful. So it seems, once again, that I was right, that um, the LHC is, in fact, um, a device which has been made to make a hole in the Van Allen belt. All the timing coincides, and uh, NASA's satellites, which was specifically um, built, designed and built uh, for this particular purpose, are named after Nephilim giants. And um, the number six is in there again and again and again and again. And remember, six, six, six is the number of the beast. The beast is a Nephilim, a Nephilim giant. These creatures are going to come to this planet within the next four years, um, the fallen angels. Um, but when they get here, they will not be able to leave, regardless of their plans, because the Bible tells us that once they're in here, they won't be able to go. Uh, Satan will be thrown down to the earth, and woe to the earth because of this, because he knows his time is short. So, when you see these things happen, you will know that God's word is once again being fulfilled. And it will be fulfilled regardless uh, of any human or subhuman or uh, interference made by angels. Whatever anyone does, God's will will be done. So, it, for instance, it wouldn't matter if I didn't tell you this. God's will would still be done. It will be done anyway. And I'd just like to say to you guys there that um, called me a lot of names. Um, said that I was imagining things. Well, you know, the, the CERN scientists and the NASA scientists have now allegedly been proved wrong, but I don't even believe that they were proved wrong. I simply believe that they were telling lies. They know full well what's going on. Okay? Um, I'm going to ask you all uh, now, those of you who don't know Jesus Christ, um, you better start investigating, because all of this stuff is in the Holy Scripture. And if you want light brought to your eyes, and you want your ears opened, and you want your mind to understand, then you have to believe in Jesus Christ. You have to believe that he died on the cross for our sins, that he was raised from the dead on the third day by the Holy Spirit, and he was taken up into heaven and perfected by God. Christ, crucified, risen, and exalted. If you actually believe he was raised from the dead, and you confess this with your mouth, you will be saved. 